Hello, my name is Angela Kennedy and I'm one of the freelance artists for the Baltic Learning Team. And today I thought we'd try and make some jellyfish from recycled materials. Because I was inspired by the exhibition by the Lithuanian duo Paku Hardware. They think a lot about synthetic biology in their work for growing organisms of all different kinds, particularly maybe in water and in fluids. And they use a lot of recycled materials. So I thought we would try and make our own jellyfish using recycled materials as well. So you'll need a few different things to help you make your jellyfish. A plastic bottle of some kind. You'll need some scissors, some felt tip pens, a ruler, a pencil, and some garden twine or string. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the spout off the bottle. And to get the scissors started into the plastic, I used a little corkscrew, but you might need an adult to help you find something sharp just to get it started. So you make the hole and then you can use the scissors to help you cut round as straight a line as you can. Now cut off any sharp pieces that you don't want. And then I took the ruler again and one of the felt tips and I just made a mark, which is where I was going to cut the tentacle up to. You might want to make it shorter or a bit longer, but I used, I measured about six centimeters down. And that'll just give you an approximate idea where to head for when you're cutting your tentacles. And I would cut your tentacles about a centimeter apart, okay? When you've cut all of those, and then I would just use your different colored felt tips to color in. And I color the tentacles all the way up, because the thing with jellyfish is they're quite see-through. They only have a little bit of colour in them, don't they? That you can see through inside them. So you want to be quite light with your mark making. You don't want to fill in all of the spaces and all of the gaps. When you've co covered them all in colour, you're going to use the pencil to help you from the one end of the tentacle to bend it quite firmly round. Again, you might need some help depending on how old you are and the size of your hands, to firmly spiral the plastic around the pencil right up to the end and hold it quite firmly for a few seconds and then let it go and you'll see it gives it a little bit of a, a curl or a bit of movement. It's nice to have some straightish and some a bit more bent until you've done as many as you like. What I did then was, I found a slit on either side. I took it a little bit further to the top on each side. So you have a slit at each side a little bit further up to the base. And then I did some, made some string, put some string and made a little knot on each end. And I slid the knot inside the longer slits. So I had a handle. And there is your finished jellyfish. Have a go. See how you'd like to make yours. Thank you for watching.